Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today on this Why I Own It, I'm going to talk about a film that I've already kind of spoken about in a previous video, but this version of the film is the only one of its kind that I have in my collection, and that is this version of the original Star Wars, A New Hope. This is a bootleg edition of Star Wars A New Hope, so uh, stay tuned to hear about it. So when I started this Why I Own It series, I believe it was like the second video I posted, was about the Star Wars 2005-2006 uh, trilogy collection. That includes a bonus disc for each of the original trilogy films. That includes uh, the theatrical, or as close to the theatrical editions that you could get at that time uh, on disc. And I, I spoke about that, and I'll, I'll link that up here, and it's also going to be in the playlist of all these videos. But I spoke about that, and it garnered quite a bit of interest uh, out here on YouTube and a lot of discourse from people. So with that being said, I have this version of Star Wars A New Hope. This is a bootleg version of the film. I found this at the Record Exchange in St. Louis uh, when I was down there for, I think it was Record Store Day last year or the year before. So either 2023 or 2022. You know, it's 2024 at the time of filming this. Uh, so yeah, it was at Record Store Day and they had all these bins out for dollar DVDs. And I found this in there and I was like, this cover art's really kind of neat. And I did a Google uh, search of the image, you know, and everything. Couldn't find anything on this. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this for a dollar. Why not? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this. Uh, but yeah, this is a bootleg DVD. So if you look at the art and everything, this is just, I think, generic artwork that they basically took the five star collection, uh, which I've talked about here on my channel before with like Independence Day and couple other movies I have in my collection. They kind of took that artwork and just co-opted it and threw a Star Wars New Hope image on there and put this, you know, DTS widescreen and Dolby Digital and anamorphic widescreen presentation and all this like stuff on here. And if you look at the regular disc, it's actually a pretty convincing fake, uh, you know, pretty convincing bootleg. I I've seen a lot worse out there that I've seen at places that are really bad quality. But more or less, even though it says all this stuff on, on here that really isn't true. This one, from when I actually popped it in and took a look at it and did a little more digging online when I had some more time, more or less, this bootleg is based off of the Collector's Edition Laserdisc of A New Hope. So it's got the video transfer uh, in a non-anamorphic 4.3 like version. So if you have a zoom feature on your DVD or Blu-ray player or TV or projector or whatever, you can blow it up to kind of like maximize screen space and still retain the aspect ratio. So it's not anamorphic like they say on here. The transfer is from that Laserdisc collection, which is kind of cool because as I've mentioned in other videos on here, I want to get a laser disc player and I want to get an AC3 laser disc player, which in Star Wars fandom forums and like online stuff, those laser discs are pretty highly regarded in terms of their audio quality, at least uh, in terms of the AC3 transfer. So technically this has that on there. Like I said, it's not really encoded properly and I, I've used the surround sound. I've watched this once or twice just just for fun. And uh, the sound mix is definitely lacking compared to actual studio releases and everything. Uh, but honestly, you know, this is this is a pretty neat uh, addition, you know, to have just as some random thing to have in your collection. Uh, just because, like I said, it doesn't live up to anything it says on the back. It says never before seen footage and, you know, all this sort of like stuff on here. None of that is on on this disc. Uh, it's like I said, it's just a straight port of the uh, AC3 Dolby Digital uh, Collector's Edition version. But yeah, it's just, it, it's kind of neat to have and just a fun little thing, you know, to have uh, in my collection. But anyways, yeah, so the reason I have this is just, it's fun to have like this. And as I said in the intro, 
this is the only, to my knowledge, only bootleg movie I own in my collection. So for me, at least, this is like one of 700 here in my collection. It's the only bootleg that I own. Uh, but at least it's kind of funny. I, I think it's neat to have. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watched and uh, subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.